Hello everyone, my name is Akila from My Nutritious Earth. And today I wanted to talk to you about Pau Diaco or Paul Diaco, whose Latin name is Tabebudia impetiginosa. And its former Latin name was Tabebudia avalande. Some other common names for it um, uh, is Tahibo, Lepacho, and Ipe Roxo. This is a tree that grows in Central and South America in the Amazon rainforest and is used for a whole host of bacterial, fungal, and inflammatory conditions. It has a reputation for shrinking tumors. It has uh, two compounds, B. lepachone and lepachone, and the B. lepachone is the chemical, the, the phytochemical that actually shrinks the tumors. Currently, this um, Paudiaco is used in Bolivia, Argentina, and Brazil for its uh, for leukemia and cancers. And also, it's known to resolve anemia, leukemia, uh, cancers of all kinds, lupus, inflammatory reproductive diseases uh, in the male and the female. It, it helps uh, enlarge prostate and it helps uh, swelling of the uterus, uh, gastric um, issues, polyps, psoriasis, and eczema. The tree is completely immune to, to funguses. Uh, South American doctors claim miracles and says that it, it can cure cancer sometimes even in one month. Its use can be traced back to the Mayans and the Incas who knew it was important for healing. You know, and it has it has been long recognized all over the world for its uh, ability to treat autoimmune disorders, candida, and other serious health problems. This is what it looks like. It's really thin because this is like the inner tree bark. I don't know if you can see this. It's the inner, the inner tree bark of the trumpet tree. That's the tree. It's called the trumpet tree. There's white trumpet tree, red trumpet trees, uh, violet trumpet trees, and they all have medicinal, uh, medicinal properties. So you can. This can be taken as a decoction. A decoction is when you boil the herb for about 20 minutes and you strain it and you drink the the tea that comes off of it it also is also known to cure malaria it has 16 quinones um, that has never been found before in a single plant ever and doctors were really amazed when they found that scientists, doctors and scientists were really amazed to find out that it had 16 quinones, which have never, ever been found before in nature. It can also be taken as a tincture. Taken as a tincture, um, 20 drops daily as a preventative and 40 to 80 drops three to four times daily to treat illness. If you are interested in Paudiarco, you might want to consult with your doctor or your medical provider because it's also a blood thinner. So if you have any issues with blood clotting or you're taking any blood thinning medications, you want to be mindful that this also thins the blood. And if you have, if you're already on the medicine and you're taking another compound that's going to thin your blood, it can put you at risk for bleeding. So please be mindful of that. My name is Akila. My company is My Nutritious Earth. I thank you for joining me and I hope you found this information helpful. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.